guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sonnet, the owner and creator behind Sonnet's Garden Blooms. And in today's video, today is day three of the 25 days of thriftmas. So we are going to do the reveal of what I came up with uh, in the outside decor of my home. I try to keep it a little bit um, minimalistic this year. Last year I kind of went real crazy and over the top and I just took a little step back and I wanted to have more of like an ambiance in the evening. Um, so really play off all the lighting. And I know when I videotaped um, at the end, I really wanted to give you that whole ambiance feel. Um, last night, it just got dark too quick when I thought about taping. And then today I needed to get the video out when it was still light out. So you are not gonna get that whole feel. But honestly, folks, if you can get out and add just some of those faux LED candles, it adds so much in the evening. I have them in my lanterns and it's just so, it just, it really just adds to your decor. So, um, but I hope you enjoy and I can't wait to hear what you guys all think at the end. A tradition in our family is my husband and I head to the North Woods during Thanksgiving weekend and we go and get all the greens for my containers. So what we're really looking for are areas that have been um, clear cut and they do this up in northern Wisconsin. Here what I'm showing you is they've taken all the trees that they've clear cut and they stacked them and I thought those little designs on the trees were so cool. So after they do that here is what is left over all the greens laying about and this is where I go in and I just pick to my heart's content. So I try to find a wide variety of greens and some of them obviously are covered in snow, but here's what my, uh, my actual back end of my truck looked like. Uh, it was packed and these winter berries are by far my favorite. I try to get a wide range of greens. So here I'm going to show you as I'm unloading them. They are just, oh, I just love all the reds, the greens, the different textures. Now keep in mind, this is very legal in Wisconsin. So if you are in a different state, I do not know what the regulations are. But in Wisconsin, if it is an area where it has been clear cut and all these greens are laying there just being wasted, then this is definitely something that we can pick uh, or cut. Um, we never uh, cut off of live trees. Uh, the cedar, um, which I will show you, um, it, that one is in a cedar swamp. And those tend to be harder to find. So I was very fortunate to find an entire uh, cedar tree that had been uplifted from a storm that had gone through over the summer. And then I was able to cut off of those. But definitely see what is legal in your area before you just go out in the woods and start cutting. The other thing um, that you want to be aware of is you want to be on public land and not private land. We use um, an app called Onyx and it shows where all the public property is and all your private property. Private property is owned by um, private owners. So you that it would be illegal to go on that. So that is just a, a quick tip for you. So let's get started. So to start my decorating, I laid out all the greens out on my trailer. Uh, so that was ready to go. I did get out my garland and I started there. I put up from year to year, I put up the same garland and I start on one side. I hang all the garland up. Then I come back and I add the lighting and then from there I add the bows. And uh, typically what I change up every year are the bows because 
over winter, um, just being out in the elements, they get dirty and they end up fading and just losing a lot of life. So that is one little investment that I do. Um, I tried to repurpose them year after year, but in the end I always, plus next year, I'm always wanting a different type of feel to whatever I'm you know, decorating outside. And by changing up just the bows, that can change up so much. Now I have all the garland hung and I am going to start on the two pots in the front. Now this is where I initially started thinking I wanted to put my red twig dogwoods. I typically divide all of the red twig dogwoods between my containers. It just adds a pop of color in each one and I start putting them in the center. Um, and then I very quickly determined that I wanted to change it up. I found out that there was two tops to the trees. So it started off with this is what I was going to do and then I changed. Initially, I thought I was going to put uh, red dogwood branches in both of the front pots, but we ended up getting the tops of two trees. So I thought, why not change it up this year and have some height? So we're gonna add a tree to each of the front pots. And then I'm gonna try something different in my container, or like my window boxes. I do have perennials in there that survive through the winter. So I'm leaving those in there. I'm actually probably gonna cut some of this off um, to hide it a bit. And I'm doing the red twig dogwoods on each side and then my tree will be right in the front window. So now I'm going to start decorating the box next. And then the lights, I, it kind of came down there. So I have another whole roll and we'll put it in there. So when I'm doing my containers, I like to have several different varieties of greens and it gives you different textures plus different colors. So each green, um, evergreen is a little bit different in color and just a different type of texture. I also get some of the, I believe these are white pine, so they're real soft uh, and then I'm not exact, uh, exactly sure, but this is more of a thicker type of um, needle. So you can see it's still clumped like the, the white pine, uh, but it's, it's a little bit thicker. So what I'm doing is I'm going to take these four and we're gonna divide them between all the containers. And then in the end, I'm gonna add the red berries just for a pop of color. So it is getting dark. Um, I had a lot of errands to run today, so let's go and get started. Um, oh, and I just have to show you this. This is like one of my favorites to add to the containers and they're very hard to find uh, because they are in swamps and typically they don't fall down. So we were very fortunate that we actually found a tree that was down and I was able to climb on top of another tree and cut quite a bit. So normally I only get a little bit of The next step I am going to do is make all my bows. And like I said, each year, this is a great way to just change up the look of your decor by just changing up your bows. And it's very inexpensive. Typically at Home Depot, I'm sorry, Hobby Lobby, they are 50% off. And I believe I ended up getting these like at like 70% off at Michael's. So I paid $5 a roll for them. And these are a little chunkier. This is chunkier ribbon, so it was a little bit, it's thicker, so it was a little bit harder to work with. But on your typical normal ribbon, it's very easy. So you start off by making a tail, you make a loop, you pinch it, then you twist your ribbon because typically there's a nice side and a bad side or like um, the underside. So you twist it and then when you twist it, then you do another loop 
hold that with your finger, bring it around, twist it again, make another loop, and you do this as many loops as you'd like. And then at the very end, you bring down a tail. So you'll have to take a scissors and cut it to length. Um, but then I just take a piece of wire and I either pick up my wire at Walmart or I pick it up at Hobby Lobby just some craft store that has the wire because this was typical this was a, a very thick bow i did use the entire piece of wire uh, with thinner ribbon i tend to take those long pieces and just cut it in half and i only need a half of a piece of wire but like i said this one was a very thick ribbon and real chunky so i used the whole piece but i wrapped the uh, wire around it Bring it, um, just kind of hold it with my other hand and then take the, tw the wire and just twist it and I get it really tight. Uh, the key too is to fluff up your ribbon. So even though you've made it now, it's not exactly how you want it. So you'll take it and then you fluff it all up and make it all look pretty. Now I'm taking each of my ribbons here and I'm adding them to each of the corners and I decided to go with red and black buffalo check. I just thought it really popped from the road and the I love this ribbon because it's so chunky and thick. It just really stood out. Um, so I can't wait to show you during the reveal like what this all looked like, but I absolutely loved it. I think it looks great um, and very easily you just can add them to each of the corners. Uh, the one thing too, just be careful when you're on the ladder, make sure that the ladder is spread out um, and on level ground. Um, there's been times too where I think it's level, but the soil shifts a little bit. So just always make sure when you're, before you get on your ladder that it's nice and level. We don't want any accidents. Here is what the ribbon looked like. I just loved it. Like I said, it looks so beautiful and then you can see how it just pops. Here is the tour of the yard, and I really wish there would have been snow. It just makes things look so much better, and like I said, I wish it would have been a little bit more of dusk. Here are those lanterns and the LED lights. It just adds so much ambiance, and I love these little bird houses. Uh, I try to make everything coordinate. I even decorated up the bird bath. So it is, it turned out so cute. And like I said, I really tried to be more minimalistic this year and not go all totally out. Um, but I wanted to make it real uh, classy. I do have to show you though this door. I picked it up at Antique Acres uh, and I have been wanting to put it here. I absolutely love it. So I'm going to let you enjoy the rest of the video.
for coming along with me and uh, you know as I gathered all of my greens uh, that is honestly by far one of my favorite days of the year it is a tradition that my husband and I have done now I since I think I've known him we do it every year he comes out with me um, he pre-scouts this is like what a great husband he is he pre-scouts areas that have a, like been clear cut so we know already where we're gonna go um, and, and get the greens so this is like I said day three of 25 for the 25 days of thriftmas if you do want to be part of the challenge I talk about all of that in day one um, what you can when I do uh, the final um, drawing on December 26th what is in the drawing um, if you do want to be part of that definitely watch this video comment like and share and by doing that you definitely will get your name in there so uh tomorrow day four i have one of two ideas that i'm i'm working on so whichever one i get done next will be day four so i think either one you'll enjoy it um so we will see you tomorrow and you have yourselves a great evening bye